rolling, rolling. Okay. Okay. One take one. You put up a two. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by... Lizzie Gordon. Hello, hello everyone. We have a very special episode for you this brisk October day because not only do we have one guest, but we have two, two fantastic guests. Wait, don't tell them yet. I want to cue the intro. Okay, what do you mean? Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. It's the Adams family! <laughs> Mom does not understand the cinematic vision that you're going for, and she was trying Hello, to clean girls. up her whole yard. Hi. Oh, wow. She's trying to clean up the whole porch because she thinks that you're picking her up, like, Morgan? at the doorbell. This isn't doing what he wanted. Let's get in again. What do you mean? You, th you thought that I was going to get your whole, like, uh, what, exterior? Were, yeah, yes, and, and was she was nervous. trying to clean it up, and I was like, I girl. I did not want anyone to see the garbage Girl. Can. Lizzie was very impressed by your real flowers. I was. We oh. pulled up, and I went, are those real? Does it feel good to have, like, a real fall? Have you seen all the changing colors? Oh. No, I didn't okay. register any of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me see if this is gonna work. Oh wow, yeah, I think this angle is gonna be fine. I will say it's brisker out here than it is in LA. Oh, it's like well, 90 degrees in that bitch right now. You got a better day today than it was yesterday. Yesterday was freezing and a half. So hello everybody. Hello. Hey guys. I have my mom, my sister. Do you have enough room back there? Is there food we involved? Have plenty I'm, of room. I'm just wondering if there's food involved. Okay, so there's lots of food. <laughs> Actually, you guys are gonna dictate where we're going. I thought the premise of this video could be uh, like letting the person in front of us decide what we order, but it could be one at each of your favorite fast food restaurants. Okay. So where are we starting? Morgan oh. or Vicky? Who's gonna go first? Play rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. One out of one. You go on shoot. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> did the weakest did little. You gotta do rock, paper, scissors, okay, shoot. Yeah, rock, I'm a shoot paper, girl. Scissors, shoot. I rock, did that. paper, scissors, shoot. You can't look at what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. You copied me. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No, okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Are you kidding me? You guys I'm the... looking at you. I wasn't looking at her. The telepathy has gone to you guys because you're living together. Okay, give me the hand. Go. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Okay. Morgan wins. What's your oh. favorite fast food restaurant? Panda Express. Okay, oh here my we go. God. Does this one? I pray to God we get one of those oh apple cinna sticks. No, they whatever. do because I had one for lunch quite literally yesterday no. and I was hoping we could go back for it, another is one. Is it a drive through It's a drive through <gasps> I don't think I've ever been to a panda drive through Actually, at Panda, you get at least one funky piece of chicken, and I haven't had any funky chickens yet. This wow. makes me well, funky. This is all chicken. kind of um, dictated on what the person in front of us gets, but I think no matter what, we've got to just add on. Oh, it's immaculate. It's like in the shape of a churro, filled mm. with apple pie filling and like creamy goodness. Should we just get one just in case no one orders it for we us? We should get four. I think so, and we need... <laughs> It's kind of, I, I personally want my own. It's breaking the rules of the challenge, but we'll do it because I watched somebody eating that on YouTube yesterday and the apple like popped out of the crunch, mm. the drizzle, the cheese. Yeah. Keep it PG, your mom's here. This road is infuriating for vlogging. Oh, I think so. We could have made that rock, paper, scissor thing really easy. Yeah. I was going to choose the same place well, because I never get to go there. Dad beats it. Yeah. My dad out. makes a cat joke every time. Oh, a cat joke? That. You don't know that? Like, tell as old as time. They're always saying panda is fried cat. Did you yeah. say tell as old as time? Yeah, what is it for real? Tail. A tail as old as time. Oh, that's just my Utah popping out. Oh. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I was just checking. Okay. I think this people. Will be fun. <laughs> something that I've noticed about us specifically is that we say, like, words with I L L, like, fill, like, fill. Like, fill. Mountain, until. you always make fun of. Mountain. I'll wait until. Deal. Deal. Ten. Like it sounds like dill pickle. Yeah, big dill. Big dill. Yeah. Wait, is it a big deal? <sighs> See? <laughs> Perfect example. <laughs> Oh. I always wonder if we would have stayed in Utah if I'd be married with five kids right now. Oh, definitely. A hundred percent. Thanks a lot, Mom. Now I'm just hey. aging and ugly and old. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, You're God. beautiful. Oh, my God. And I you're young. I never looked like you when I was oh. young. Oh, my God. 
Okay, that was a little traumatic on all of your what? parts. But this that, person did drive, like, they came me. out and came to a stop. Oh right no, did I miss the turn in? No, it was right here. Oh, this and is a I... brand new panda. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, new. <gasps> what? Sorry, it's they're the just promoting the apple panda crisp panda on their oh, side. Shit. This is the hot topic of the suburbs of the season is that the Panda Express is new and nice and hot and popping. And a drive through I really don't think I've ever seen a drive through panda in my life. That we means have you one haven't on been to Parker pandas. and Chambers too. Mm. We have a couple of them, Ryan. There's nobody. How are we gonna order what the person in front of us got? Oh yeah, oh. we gotta park and wait. Or should I just ask it's if just they remember? Strange. Just ask Time if they can. Yeah. Just, I'm sure someone will pop through. Okay, we could just wait. For I a could second. get out and place an order. Why don't you hit some of your hard uh, hitting <laughs> interview yeah. questions? I didn't eat lunch intentionally for this. Oh, yes. so you're hungry? I'm ready to eat, girls. Oh, here comes someone. Oh, thank Forgot God. Here they come. Oh, and they look like they're ready here to they eat. Come. They're ready to eat. Ooh. Should I still ask Morgan my question? Yeah, of course. Well, where are you going to start? Darn, they're going to go in to? and eat. Oh, <laughs> nope, they're not. Are Come you on. kidding? No! no! Sir, this is a drive through Our whole life relied on you. Okay, there's someone else coming. We got a Nissan. Who intentionally goes in the store if there's a drive through Yeah, it's called Express, sir. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. I got here. Let me get some B roll of what this app well, I hope I don't need my phone. I and then I get that guy's it. license plate because he's obviously up to something. He's no a guy. criminal. Yeah, he's out of his mind. As a psychopath. <gasps> what is wrong with you guys? <laughs> All right, Miss Interviewer. Morgan. <laughs> Every time Lizzie asks me a question, I get in butterflies. I got in the airplane and he's like, and I was like, I have to edit my vlog. I have so much work to do on the airplane. He goes, can you come up with some hard hitting questions for my mom and Morgan? I said, no problem. <laughs> oh gosh, he is going inside. He what just had finish. to ruin everything for us. Oh. oh. Now he's not even going in. Oh, he's going somewhere else. Where, what's he doing? He's picking oh. up a can, I guess. Oh, oh. Well, or something. he just picked up a secret something that someone left for him. Wait, did we just witness something we shouldn't have witnessed? Wait. So, why did he Wait, did you take a picture of what's he doing? Plate? This is a drug deal. I've been watching Breaking Bad. Oh, that's to He just picked Wait. a random thing up off the curve in the shape of like a. Like what a trash wow. going device. on. That was intense. We shouldn't ask any more questions. Okay, <laughs> but you should start asking okay, questions. Okay, questions for Morgan now. Everybody forget what you saw. Okay. <laughs> should we go in and ask and just kind of see what he's got? No. no. You never interrupt a drug deal, Mom. That's his yeah. drug problem, not mm -hmm. ours. Yeah. He's just going to come out the door now, huh? Honestly? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh, oh he's going to the he bathroom. The bathroom. He's got to snort it. <laughs> this is go none of our it. business, you guys. <laughs> what if he's just, like, picking up litter in, like, a stand-up citizen and we're <laughs> no. all like, there's a drug no. deal. He's definitely behind the blue mask. He's also on the clock. He's in his Amazon outfit. Like, that's the decoy if he was on the car. Oh, we got what? our first driver. Oh, and God. I trust them. They have tinted the windows. Is... You know somebody with tinted window. Oh, they're oh, parking Oh my too. God. Do they Why not even make a drive through So the thing is though, he, there's a pop can right next to what he picked up. And so he didn't pick up the pop can. So he's not just picking up trash. No, it's drugs. No. It's definitely some sort of methamphetamine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Morgan. Have you considered what your life post-construction will look like? What's next? Um, yes, I have considered that quite a lot And I think that after the excitement and the chaos and the problems are all over then I'm probably gonna go into a really Sad state because what am I gonna think about all day? Oh, you love the chaos. I love the chaos. I live for it What am I gonna do if I'm just like and living it, peacefully? It's just gonna be quiet Maybe she's gonna, gonna be quiet. Man. And there's always like ten people around for me to chit chat with so who's gonna be around? <laughs> that is dark. They've all become like your friends that you know are gonna be there We're gonna like, start showing up at other construction sites. <laughs> she gets up at like six I sit down to work and she's either gone or she leaves right when I sit down to work at seven Yeah, like if I'm not she going to meet all these there. People at eight, what am I gonna do? Aww. Well, you're gonna decorate your house. Are you gonna live alone? Are you afraid to live alone in the suburbs? Because I would be. I'd be horrified. I'm <laughs> currently in the market of looking for roommates, but I just haven't figured out who yet. I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress. I definitely won't live there alone, but I feel like picking roommates is a very hard process because every yeah. time I've lived with a girl, it turns into a disaster. Every including time. living yeah. with me. I'm telling you, could be the best friend. <laughs> oh, be best friends in the entire world with a girl and you live together, you're never going to talk again. Just know that. That was one of my questions. What are you guys going to miss the most about living together? And what are you guys going to not miss about living together? Because you guys are roomies with yeah, my roommates. dad and my grandma. The four of them are in cahoots right now. And I call them my roommates. 
I call them my roommates too. Mom and I always talk about where are our other roommates. Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? Okay, so what are you guys gonna miss? Let's start nice. Like, what are you gonna do when you wake up, Morgan, and there's nobody there for you to just like run into a room and talk to? Well, I'm gonna be really sad because I'm gonna have to start buying my own eggs and stuff. Uh, and, and the I'm price of eggs to, is insane. I'm right gonna now. have to clean my own litter box. You, you might, wait, yeah. mm -hmm. Vicky, you're cleaning her her cat's litter Dad box. Dad does it all. Oh, yeah. Dad does a clean I sweep clean of the all litter the litter boxes. boxes. Dad takes out the trash. I the litter they do boxes. the grocery shop. I don't really do much That's of crazy. anything. Are you even doing your own dishes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. All right, let's back up to last week. She decides I, to make pasta. She decides she's making pasta, right? <laughs> So it's eight o'clock. I've already cleaned up the kitchen for the night and I'm done, right? And I said, well, she goes in there and she uses a pan, a strainer, all these spoons and another bowl. And then she gets her own dish dirty. And I said to her, Morgan, do you think you could go put all that in the dishwasher? Oh no, grandma needs something to do tomorrow. <laughs> you, you're <laughs> pawning off your chores on grandma? Yeah, she needs something to look forward to. No! I will say, Morgan, you're not like dirty, but you're messy. Oh, like you I'm leave a big fat mess. You, you leave mess things everywhere. Like when I would go to your apartment, even your whole island, you like can't see the countertop just because you like come in and put your stuff everywhere. I am not an organized gal. But will you be in this new house? No, I don't think that change. I don't you think don't? the moving changes your overall personality. Because wherever you go, so you're always nice. there. Don't you want to keep it nice? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. See, my problem is when I get dressed in the morning. That's when I'll, like, when I do my makeup, when I get dressed, a tornado comes to town. It might be happening. I thought so. Oh my gosh. It's happening. And it's like a They're family. Cruising. Here we oh, go. Oh, is she Woo! going? Yes. I can't believe you can eat food in the Tesla. Why not? Oh, they don't care about this yeah. car. <laughs> But wow. I will preface to whoever wants to be my roommate that I see I don't want to live with a clean I can't live with like an OCD clean freak type of person because it's just not gonna happen I'm still friends with a former female roommate and I was not clean and I told her one time before Christmas break I was like I'll do all your dishes just leave them in the sink and then I went out of town and I didn't do any of the dishes oh, and no. then she came back before me and they were full of mold and I was like hey oh. sorry girl yikes yikes mm. sister friends the only roommates that I've really ever done well with are boys. Because I think boys are less in your business and you can leave the house without like inviting them. Oh, here. It's everything's happening for us. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's hope that everything is a lot. She's like, I just I'm want some white rice. With you. What? Oh, okay. I hope she ordered some orange chicken. This is very 2019 of us. I know. Okay, Maybe mom. we should bring this back. Yes, yeah. you are bringing it back. It was fun. So what are you going to miss and what are you not going to miss? I can be really cranky. <laughs> well, she does get a little cranky. I actually just suck as... <laughs> No, Today, I all I said one. was, all I said was, oh, this syrup has 120 calories. I'm not sitting here. She takes her whole thing. If you're going to talk about calories, I'm leaving. It's because <laughs> that is all you talk about. No, I, I told dad after you left. The thing is, I'm 60. I have to rethink my decisions and my choices and what I eat. Okay, if you want to have and beef so right now, to... ask Ryan, does mom have an overly obsessive thought process about everything that goes in her mouth? I don't think I live with mom in that way to know about that. That's yeah, true. When I will I say, like, them, I just when something like happens, crazy. you hold on to things for, uh, like, a long time. Like, oh, I'm still mad at that guy at the restaurant. <laughs> like, <laughs> I told her yesterday, girl, you gotta let it go. And <laughs> like, we had, like, a little... I'll <laughs> hear, what happened like, the, the most inconsequential thing in the world will happen. And my mom will tell the story five times to the same yeah. person. Like, yesterday we were going to Cheddar's before we were going to hit up the Taylor Swift concert. Right. And she had called ahead because I was like, is it going to be crazy on a Friday night? Like, do, oh. could I please just get exactly what the person in front of me got? A bigger plate with fried rice, double honey sesame, and orange chicken. Perfect. Oh, orange chicken. Chicken. And could I also get four of those apple sticks? Of course, yeah. Thank you so much. Anything else? Nope. All right, go ahead and go forward. Thank you. Okay, but what I will say is I like living with mom and dad more than oh, I liked yeah. living in my bougie apartment alone. See. Really? Because... Because there's people that are well, constantly around. People <laughs> clean her cats, do, take I the trash do, out, they do the dishes. Yes. <laughs> I live a luxury lifestyle at mom and dad's house, for sure. And I love that you 
take the time to always talk to grandma. And you always go see her before you even see her. All right, let's get into the drama, though. What's frustrating, Mom? I think it's more Probably sweet the that dishes. she's so sweet to grandma. I don't care about the dishes. I even leave cups in my room, like, by the dozens. Thank you. 21 for Children's Hospital today? Sure. When you left today, I said, well, we won't be seeing that plate for a week. <laughs> Thank you. You guys know that Rylan stands up to wipe, right? Oh my gosh, you're really trying to bring this I'm back right saying. now? He stands up to what? what? Oh, wipe. Yeah. Your butt? I guess we've never had Morgan and Mom's opinions. <laughs> no, okay, let's not talk that about that. That is sick. <laughs> Wait, you guys sit to wipe, you sick shits? Yeah. Are you kidding Front me? Front to back every time. Oh my gosh, I do not want to talk about and this. And I have these okay. little, like, wipes. No. They're oh, called, I like, do not they're like little I travel wipes. with wipes now. My butt yeah. doctor told me you shouldn't be using those wipes because <gasps> they have chemicals that might actually irritate your well, ass. Well, how do you get it clean? And they clog up so your so well, What's talking about? I really like, when we moved into this house, the previous owners had a bidet, and that has changed my entire life. Wow. I will say something, a Nick, that I just recently discovered that I have is when people have their ears out and about and you sit next to them and you look to your right and you can see their whole ear full of oh earwax. Oh gosh, that's <gasps> ah! yeah. How wide are their earlobes? Honestly, that's my biggest fear that that's what my oh. ears look like. I'm, I'm horrified that my ears are full of too. pimples and wax. Because I have sensitive I little I've ears. I have seen someone. Mm -hmm. And the doctor always told me don't use Q-tips because they're bad for you. But they then when the I see deep. other people's waxy ears, I'm like, ooh. Well, I'm using Q-tips. There's other ways ooh. to get waxed Can we? Should we have asked for four forks? I don't know. But here, I think we need to start with these that we ordered ourselves. Do, do you want me to go in and get more forks? Here, let's just start with the apple okay. things. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, shit. They're going to be messy, gonna but it doesn't, it's fine. Don't you worry. Make a mess. I would have brought wipes if I would have known. I have napkins. I've got my butt wipes. <laughs> okay, oh, well, those will work. <laughs> just kidding. I didn't bring them. Let's hope I don't have a movement while we're out. Oh. About. <laughs> wow. Oh, don't this. worry. One of his 20 employees oh, will Vicky already took a bite. Uh -oh. That's fine. You can take a bite. Oh, Vicky no. can take bites? Yeah, she's my mom. Wow. <gasps> oh, bless you. Ooh. It almost has like a cinnamon toast crunch Oh exterior. my goodness. Ooh. Should we get out? Do you have COVID? Box? Probably. <laughs> when do I not? Should we get out of the car to eat this? Uh -uh. Ah, it's so hot. It's going to burn your tongue and that's going to ruin my life. Oh. Oh, so hot. Oh, wow. This is very Ryan messy. Ryan is making a big mess. Let's get out of the car. It's fine. Yeah, let, let, let's detach all the cameras and take them with us. Every quality that this, this is has not is what I want in a future partner. This is it just not makes good you feel experience. so good inside. It makes you feel mm. so warm and like comforted mm. and taken care of. Is it not burning your tongue? It's hot. Uh, how are you guys mm. doing this? Mm. It is a little bit. It's so mm. warm and good. Mm. You know I like my food to be mm. really hot, so this is perfect. I think the most a food item can do for you is make you feel like life is worth living. This wow. does it. This does give you like the best of both worlds. It's like a churro with something else. Because the churro is not enough for me. Mm -hmm. An unpopular opinion, I don't love a churro. It's I don't too either. dry. It's too dry. It doesn't do enough for me. This gives you like that cinnamon sugar on the outside, mm, the but you get the deliciousness on the inside. Yeah, it's like Ooh. an apple filled churro. Mm. This is worth the trip to Panda Express what just for this. What did say about the sopapilla? She was like, it was hollow inside. <laughs> she said they had the worst sopapillas ever. They, they were, were hollow. Like, My family had nothing but complaints about Casa Bonita. Nothing, nothing. It took us I so long know. to get reservations and we get there. My grandma's miserable. They're I all a, miserable. It was a great time. I am not complaining one mm. bit. I am make it. I just thought it was funny that you were complaining about the soap appears being hollow because that's literally how they're made. It wasn't a complaint. <laughs> it was not a complaint. I still like two of them. Okay, so we all want to know, are you are you seeing other people or are you exclusive with this guy yet? Me? No. Oh, you're, you're married. married. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, what are you talking about? I had to ask no, your next Lizzie. question because you're lagging on your question. My next Can question? That, Lizzie? No. no, I already asked it. Oh, wow. Wait. Have I'm, you stopped looking for other people, or were you ever looking for other people? I've never been looking for anyone. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll tell no, you are asking, are you exclusively dating or not seeing anyone? Yeah, that's what I just asked. Uh, that wasn't how you... Wait, I'm it. super confused. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get some of that right? I'll take a nap. <laughs> I didn't think... I thought that was yeah. it. Okay, let's see what we got. Gotta take a napkin, please. I don't know what... Oh, shit, I just what hit your that? camera. I don't know. We have no idea what we got. We only have one fork, too. <laughs> so each one of us gets a prong. There's four prongs. <gasps> there... She only gave us three fortune cookies. Who's <gasps> gonna be... Oh, I can be left out. That's oh, fine. I can be left out. No, I can too. I, I hate, hate that fortune. whole apple thing. Do you, Do you want mine? Okay. Do you guys want to see what we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, what is it? Is oh! It the shrimp? 
Do you want me to run in is and get more shrimp? forks? No, I think this is like finger food. Mm. What? Are it's you good. kidding me? You guys can't just pick this up and throw one in your mouth? I, I mean, I guess I could. you give me a napkin that I've been asking for. We like are out of napkins. Oh, it's a side of orange oh, chicken. Oh, you said it's okay, Mom. Is I this the napkins. orange chicken? Thank you. This is the orange chicken. What's this one? It kind of tastes orange chicken-y, too. I think it's like That's sesame. green bean. No, the chicken's delicious. Oh, you Maybe it's like the honey. There's like a honey one. Okay, I'm going to try it. Oh, it's going to be honey. I that think... chicken is good. Wow. Eating Panda Express with your fingers is maybe the most questionable thing. Why is this rice? You can have the fork. Oh. Mm, okay. I, I'm not above good. eating with my fingers. Is this like it almost looks like cauliflower. a cauliflower version? Are they like it's getting not healthy? Cauliflower. Did you try it? Mm-hmm. Here. Um, take ah! some of this. Mm. Mm. Wow, I used to be a Let's panda see hater. How the orange chicken compares. Anyone who's a panda hater is simply lying. It's just good. It's just good. Mm. It was so disappointing. It's the same thing with people who hate McDonald's. Just shut up and go eat your freaking green beans then. <laughs> I can't. And by the way, a green bean's a carbohydrate. I love them. Wow, this is fantastic. Even their green beans are good. Mm. How about their bell peppers? Why does it feel mm. fresher though? Like, don't you feel like it? Their they their food got a revamp? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This mm. one has no funky chicken ever. Because I, I feel, feel like, like the one chicken. the one that we would go to in California. Sometimes <laughs> I'd bite into it and I'd be like, okay, I'm done for this. <laughs> like I can't mm. keep going. Because mm -hmm. once you get one funky piece, it taints the rest of the meal. Wow, am I starving? Do you, do you like the orange chicken or whatever this is? Better? I like them both, honestly. This is a really good chicken. I'm going to have to figure out what it is and put I'm it on screen. i the orange one now. Is there a receipt that tells you? Probably. Well, we can't read. I heard her say with orange chicken. Oh, I guess that is something that I've learned about myself is I'm a fast food girl. Can you tell us what the rice is? I think it's fried rice, bro. Looks like I don't know. It tastes... No, you know what I think? It's fried rice at the bottom of the barrel, and that's why the top part is all skinny stuff, because when you go deep, it's normal looking. See? Mmm. Mmm. The apple thing is delicious. It's all good. Okay, Mom. I did want to ask you about your new career. <sighs> She's an Amazon reviewer. Yeah. Wait, what does that mean? Well, so she does... You know when you're going to purchase something on Amazon, but you're like, oh, I don't... I'm comparing between, like, three products, and I want to know which one's best. Mm -hmm. When you click on, like, the reviews, videos from people pop up telling you what they like about the product. And Vicky Adams is the star. And when I've been buying baby products, I'm actually utilizing those videos a lot. And my mom's been doing them, and she was telling me she was doing them for a while, but I didn't realize, she, like, she was doing them doing them, and her production value is, like, high. Yeah. And then you saw one when you were buying baby items? No, I finally asked you to send me one because Shane had seen them. Yeah. And then I was like, you've been hiding this from me, but it's really cool. I'm hiding it from the world. Do you get paid to do that, Vicky? Well, now they know. Well, yeah. Hey, I earned if $30 some... last week. <laughs> so <lame. laughs> Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, what compelled you to start doing it? I think it's my new hobby. Is this orange one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> It's so cute. Like, did you watch them yourself, or how did you stumble upon this as something to even do to begin with? Now my mouth is full. Are we going to four other places? No, just mm. one more. Okay, good, because I just need to pace myself accordingly. Okay, I wasn't even thinking of pacing myself. I've this is so bomb. I'm good. I'm just gonna. Okay, who wants to hold this? I need to finish my dessert. Oh, are you going for your fortune? Here, you. I kind of want to try the rice. Try do that your rice. fortune cookie, mom. Okay. That's a beautiful no, ring, Vicky. I'm going for a good fortune fool. Mm. Mine says take criticism as an Here's opportunity to grow. Hold on, take criticism no, as an opportunity to grow. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> that's, the that's the most gaslighty fortune I've ever heard. Nice try, I'm 25, my brain's already fully developed. She it goozes out of that this. That sounds like something an abusive boyfriend would say. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Probably, so, I'm already developed. This is so delicious. That We're done with this place. What? What? I'm not even going to read this no, one read out loud. It. Let no, me see. Let me see it. Is see it. It's worse than yours. Really? Be willing to admit your mistakes. <laughs> I'm not eating that. <laughs> Why are they so reflective <laughs> and not <laughs> like, you didn't they don't want to wish Ryan. you peace, love, and happiness I anymore. They want to check your damn I was self. waiting like, you've got a baby in your oven cooking, and it's like, you're a dumb bitch. <laughs> 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 All right, Mom, what's yours? Mm. You always talk to me when my mouth is full. Never stops us. <laughs> Never does. <laughs> what does it say, Morgan? You want to read it? <laughs> no, it's yours. Your imagination brings great joy to those around you. Can you keep this and when you get mad at me, you think about it and read this and... 
Sure. Okay. She did get the only nice one. That's pretty fitting. That is telling, isn't yeah. it? Um, are we the bad guys? <laughs> no. It was divine timing. Maybe we needed those messages. <laughs> I'm willing to admit when I've made mistakes. I've let more I'm not. I mean joy that. To others. <laughs> okay, mom. So. If I, I want joy. Do you yeah, have a you do. do you have a profile where everyone can see all the videos you've made, or do I have to be stumbling upon a product that you've just so happened to make a video about? I think the second option. No, you um, if you go to my Instagram page, it'll say here are gift ideas. Shop my Amazon store, and you click on the link. Okay. You have to put in there that you earn commissions. And the first time I did it, the go around. Do you remember when I filmed the reel with Shane? Mm -hmm. That earned. Uh, 150 in just a week or something, but I donated that to a charity. A charity, but I'm trying to think which one. It was one of the. This gun. is why mom got the only good fortune. Honestly, <laughs> I'm like, can I make more money on? She's like, I gave it all to charity. Okay, so here, Ryland, have my apple twist. <laughs> so what's stopping you from doing it on YouTube? Uh, Are you gonna become a YouTuber? Because I don't care, Morgan. My, I don't. I don't, I don't care what you do. <laughs> Everyone can have their own account. Well, you know, I started thinking though, take all these products. I have some I haven't finished and put on my site. So even today I tried to do all the little things I bought for the powder room and I have to now edit them and put them on there. So she's redoing like, and that's something Lizzie actually went in the house today. And I she noticed, was like, I was like, have you guys been redecorating? She was like, it looks so good in here. And I was like, my mom, as she's doing the room, she's also doing like reviewing the products if she loves them for Amazon. So I'll leave the link in the description section below and you guys can check out like the things my mom's bought for the house, the things she's made videos for. And help her pop off. Yeah, and no, if you buy the IRL reviews. Mm. And again, <laughs> my favorite well, part is editing the little video. Okay, then, you're and, hired. We need editors. And doing yeah. That. I know Shane's always yeah, offered to Yeah, where you've been hiding me. this talent. No, Shane has offered to teach me many times, but um, it's my new hobby. I love that for you. <laughs> it's just a hobby. Something I can do because grandma likes you to be home. <laughs> you know. The holidays are right around the corner and HelloFresh can help take the stress out of dinner time by delivering everything you need to cook up tasty meals right to your door, saving tons of time. I personally love HelloFresh's 15 minute meals. These quick fixes help you get a wholesome meal on the table in less time than it would take to get delivery. With HelloFresh, you just pick your meals, decide on a delivery date and sit back and relax. If you're hosting this holiday, HelloFresh Market has just what you need to please the crowd without the hassle from photo-worthy charcuterie boards to mouth-watering desserts. You can choose from over 45 weekly recipes and over 100 curated picks from the HelloFresh market. I personally love HelloFresh, and especially as we get to the busy season, the holidays, which I love so much, there's nothing better than walking into your kitchen and knowing you have a quick, healthy meal that you can execute for yourself and your family. So go to HelloFresh.com slash TheSipFree and use code TheSipFree for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash the sip free using code the sip free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Rolling, rolling. I will say my mouth's a little, <clears throat> now I need to, I wish these people would have got a drink. I got suckers up here. One, take two. Those are Morgan suckers. Bring them out. Give them oh, back to her. Wow. I want to do that. One, take two. I really two. like these. Oh, Let's you go can one have take. As many as you Wait, want. do you want one? Hold take on. Right two. Now. <laughs> can we talk about how the Taylor Swift movie was actually the first layer of hell? Okay. Yeah, I have notes no, on that. Wasn't. I am so done with you people. <laughs> well, you weren't there. You were. You. I wish I was. I could not hear no, this from a person. My ear was no, chill as listen, fuck, I and cannot... I was looking for screaming, crying, vomiting. I needed it to be the most dramatic, insane event of my life. I cannot hear critiques from somebody who had a calm theater with nobody standing in front of her, with nobody blocking her view. I was view. also in the third row. We had hot five take. hollering teenagers, not singing, I would have loved screeching. It. I would have loved it. My hot take for this Taylor Swift show is everyone needs to sit the fuck down. I mean it. Like, I don't think that's a hot take. You I need think to that stay that's, calm. Because isn't it like the rule in the movie movie theater that you can't have your phone out? All these people have their flash on. No, there's, there's different rules for this because it's supposed but to be a But they're party. recording it mm -hmm. like they're at the concert. They're standing. They're I can't screaming. see the movie theater. And listen, I know this is like the privileged part of me again, but it's like I've already stood for 11 hours watching Taylor Swift show. I wanted wow. to sit down and watch the intricacies and the details that I missed at the concert at the movie theater. Then you have to and go so during here, the day. So here's what I would have requested, and I tried to have empathy. I tried to have compassion. I thought about I it. Did I did too like, for the first.
first five Scream songs. I was like, if I had 13-year-old girls, what would I do? And I was like, I would tell them Shut to the sit in their up, seat. Stephanie, and sit down. And, and like, dance. dance in their seat or go to the front where I saw, like, a lot in of people on space? Instagram. Go in the open space in the front where you're not directly blocking that my view. That would have been okay. And if they, they almost... decided to go to the stairs or the front, no, they decided to stand right in front of us. Their own mothers didn't want to sit behind them. They no. left us to do it. And that's what drove me nuts. I was like, if you, all the parents of these girls were right in front. I was yeah. like, you should have sat right behind them so you couldn't see. But no, they sat in front of them and their view was unobstructed and gorgeous the entire show. And so we were stuck there for three hours with a one third view of Taylor Swift show. You could have stood up and enjoyed yourself. I've already stood for 11 we hours. about the people behind us. I kept telling them just let's move. There were other seats open, but you yeah. guys, we didn't move. Not three next to each other, Not though. Like, I wasn't going to go s have all of us sit next to strangers. And no, I understand it's Morgan like... Morgan could have went down and sat on the other side of Susie. You and I could have at least moved up one seat. But you guys didn't want to. They were really cute. This is why, no. You're they literally weren't. bitching about 13-year-old girls enjoying them living their best lives. I think uh, there should be Swift some rules and regulations at these at these concert <laughs> shows. Think, okay, uh, at one point, they went to like the side steps of the movie theater, uh, and we were like, I was like, yeah, yeah stay over there. Were, it wasn't the screaming, it was the standing and the screaming and whistling. Because you can I, sing like, I looked and you around can my dance. theater at all the small children standing up <laughs> and singing and dancing, and they had their flashlights on, which was making the screen harder to see, and I cried they with were joy. They weren't oh, in front see, of you. They were ruining the screen regardless. Well, they were you're a better person than us, okay? I, I don't know what to tell you. Because these young girls are who is going to lead the world soon. And it's beautiful. Yeah, and they love yelling the F word oh, with Taylor. They loved it. There was I a... went to the bathroom, and when I came up, I stared at one of the moms, and I gave her the biggest death glare, and she looked at me like, and I kept thinking, like, oh, I'm like, going to go politely talk to them. But they're all, like, rolling. And with my luck, they'd, like, roll on me being like, hey, could you please, they're like... They're all rolling? Like, they're like on recording. Drugs? recording. Yeah, they were recording. <laughs> and with my luck... I was like, like, these 13-year-olds these were on Molly? What a life. <laughs> could you imagine? No, but, like, whatever, I guess some highlights to keep it positive well to turn a leaf and be positive um don't blame me she really serves vocals she serves she really she goes serves. for it and she's singing and i love midnights and i think she's yeah. her evolution throughout this tour in midnights she's gotten really like frisky really with it, frisky really crazy um vigilante was like, shit when she's doing the chair dance oh, oh wow I Joe love was the like, i think like she's Chicago. so smart for just being cute and i was like well wait till she gets to midnights because that's when the mm. sex comes out and the vigilante stuff i was like wow Maybe I could be straight. It was so good. I get it. It was so good. It was so good. See, I just wish we could have seen it. Well, we, and honestly, you could have moved your body. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're and, not wrong. I'm not telling you and you're they're wrong. Just, they were I so was cute. so annoyed. Like, they we got were... all this candy, and I was literally had the biggest migraine that I didn't even oh eat it. I, I do still love have the candy. Sour patch. They, Those are good choices. They and do know keep every on. word to every song. Too. I know, but they every were, single song started and they had to scream like, oh and my God! even if it had the and F word or the word bitch, they still they'd sit down it. during some slow songs and they be like, oh, and then as soon as it would become like a song where I like wanted to see, boop, up they go again, yeah. and it's like, and I do have a bone to pick with you. With me? With you. With me? I was, we were too early, so we went to the store to get candy, and we were like gonna sneak our, our Safeway candy well, into the movie. Yeah. We did. Um, didn't need it because we were so frustrated. <laughs> but um, then I'm like, oh, do I have enough time to get a drink? I'll text my trusted friend Lizzie and ask her how yeah. much time I have till the movie starts so I can stand in this four hour drink line that wasn't an actual line. It was everyone walking up mm. to the bar, and it was an honor system for them to say like, oh, I was next oh, i was and next. in an honor system line situation you will perish and so i i'm like they oh relate. i'm fine because lizzie told me i have 20 minutes of preview just like the real freaking Do concert i missed the opening of this concert too because you told me i had 20 minutes and i only had 17 minutes oh so i missed her coming out of the well, thing when i was at I my theater to... i asked because i was also in the line and i was like how long i was like does it start right away or are there previews and he said yeah there's 20 minutes of previews and i was like okay okay so i was just relaying the information i received there was a screaming 11 year old boy next to us who was scream singing it at Same his mom thing. Oh, okay. and it was the cutest thing ever and then he exhausted himself and fainted in his little chair <laughs> and slept through the rest of the movie did he really yeah oh and he God. was going so hard he basically had like a Karen haircut oh, too so and he was like cute. look what you made me do 
<laughs> and then never got up. <laughs> It was straight up sleeping. Oh, like, in maybe they should have different sections of the movie where, like, they have ones yeah. that specify for the standing singers and one that and specify for the sitters. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, if I was a idea. parent and I knew my kid wanted to wild out, I would have booked the last seats. And I think they almost like the movie theater should learn from this and be like, these se- these sections are standing sections, or like this That's half is standing, idea. this half is seating. I think the theater did yeah. release something because I saw on TikTok they're like, standing is okay, standing on your chair is not okay, singing is okay, screaming is not cool. Well, these girls also thought oh. sitting wasn't enough when they would sit, so they'd sit on the folded seat, that which still me. blocked that it. And I was me. like, oh. okay, before, hold on, let's keep talking, but mom, okay. what's going to be your choice of our drive through This was it. Well, oh. no, you got to choose something, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you can't oh. think of another place you would go. <laughs> if you were in your car alone, you were free of everyone, where would you go eat? Here. Because well, okay. I, no well, one we, likes we it. We are out here. I don't like Popeyes. I don't really. I don't really. I don't know. What do I like? Um, I like Sonic because I can get a Ooh. slush. But slush? I don't really like their food. Oh. We can get slushes. Well, yeah, we can we get. We don't know what we can get. Right. We can get not... ice cream. We Yeah, oh. we're going let, to let's where's go. To drive th- th- where's the drive through ice cream? Dairy place? Queen? Um, um, they don't have a drive through. Oh, well, Good Times, they have oh, good ice cream. Oh, let's go to Good Times. Okay, I how do like we... Good Times, but mostly oh, that's why you there again. because it's right there. Yeah. I'm, Damn, Vicky, how I do you not like Popeyes? I on the little girls. Now I feel <gasps> guilty. No, like, <laughs> no. I understand. I just, like, I feel like, I don't know. It is hard. I think it's, I think that I, yes, there should be options for those of us who want to sit, and there should be options for those of us who want to rage our fucking faces off. But I also think if you didn't go at nine o'clock on a Saturday, on a Saturday, you're probably, yeah, uh, and when the writing on the wall, when we, well, I wanted to go opening weekend and I did realize after we left, I said in the car to everyone, maybe I should have gone on a Tuesday night after this died down a little. That tone of voice is the Rylandiest voice I've ever heard. (laughs) <laughs> okay, well, we're driving to the next place. Let's get to our next segment. Um, is everyone... A- that's right. Yeah, that's yours. I'm con- there's only some highlighted things, okay, so sorry, it's like some sorry. things go off the rails. Okay. Is everyone excited th- for their familial promotion? This is Lizzie's... Uh, sh- this is Lizzie's. You got to tell them all from, about what. From sister to auntie and, and mama to grandma. grandma. Yeah. Oh, yes. Very excited. How was mom really feeling? Oh, yeah. Mom let it out a little bit when she was drinking the other night. Uh Uh-oh. What happened? I don't remember because I was drinking. (laughs) (laughs) I don't drink I always know my mom's had a couple cocktails when I'm texting her. Or when she texts me. I didn't text her back right away. And so she texted me again asking the same question. And then when I texted her back, it starts going rapid fire. (laughs) And And she's texting Shane Shane at the same time. (laughs) And so we're both all in conversations. I have to read it. I don't remember. Oh, oh, wow. I just... Sorry, I'm already committed. Oh my that gosh, this oh. is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, we're gonna. Sorry, I love sorry. that you just say in a cocky voice. Oh I already gosh. committed. I mean, what do you want me to do? Reverse? That's even worse at that point. Oh reverse, my god. Reverse. So what did she say when she was drinking? That dog's just shitting with no owner. What the hell? Wait. Oh. Um. Do we have to get that dog? Yeah, we do. What is? What's yeah. going on? And it's the cutest dog in the world. Hold on. Okay. Well, it's just well, a little puppy. Hold on. It's gonna roll, run out on the small hill road. Hold on. Hold on. Here. Oh my god, it has no collar. Oh my gosh. Puppy. Oh, is that its owner? Oh my god, I hate oh him. Oh gosh, me too. Oh my gosh, on the big, on the oh busiest my road. Gosh. Why would you not? Or is she just doing the same thing we were gonna Should do? Should we just make oh, sure she doesn't need help? Maybe. Oh, I think she's fine. She was in one of these. She cars, seems I in guess. a loving embrace with it. I don't think she's oh. gonna leave it. Okay. Oh, good. here comes Mister. <sighs> oh, and here's another guy. Okay. Oh, when okay. I tell you, my heart was hurting. My whole life is just flashed before my eyes. Just a happy little puppy though, taking so a cute. dump and then just wagging his oh. tail like, oh, I'm, where should I go next? So here's my thing, is okay. I do feel guilty about us going to California for the first leg of the babies. What did I say? I had yeah, what did she say? I well, really I keep telling my mom now. that. I keep telling I really her, I'm like, I'm so sorry, but here's the thing. Like, I do think that I will see you more, mom, when we're in California, because we oddly do see you more when we're in California, because <laughs> none of my family comes to our house here. And when they do uh, come, they leave five minutes after they arrive. And so we I think have we're to... waiting to be invited. What do you mean? I tell mom all the time, like, yeah, everyone's always he welcome doesn't. to come over. It's usually grandma doesn't want to budge from what she's doing or... Oh, wait, there's not a car in here. Oh. 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 
Oh. Uh, well, we could just go through. Well, I don't know. So then, mom, for the first time, finally said, "I Did wish I you really? would raise the babies in Colorado." Did I really? I haven't looked back at my text. <laughs> I had a margarita at. Um, mom will spit you the truth when she starts drinking. I had right? a margarita at the restaurant, and then I had one. Took one to go. And then right <laughs> after, she says, "Never mind. Forget I said that." <laughs> oh my gosh. But that is what I have a hard time with. But here's the thing. I'm hoping that you guys will come and just hang out. And even if you like get annoyed of there being newborns, there's a car for you to just go wherever you want, whenever you want. That's a good point. Well, Susie offered to hang with my mom, but it's, it's all about my mom right now, I think. Wow. I think so. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. Oh my gosh, thanks. Oh, okay. This is like a bone I had with everyone. As I'm like thinking of just like the traditions around having a baby, why does everyone keep baby names a secret until the baby's born? Like I see all these YouTubers being like, we finally picked a name with their title with like five excl ex exclamation points. And then in the 20 minute video, they'll be like, obviously we're not gonna tell you in this video, but we've come up with it and we love it. And I'm just like, well then don't say anything. But why traditionally is it like a secret? Why can't you just tell people what your baby's name's gonna be? I don't understand that either, and maybe that's because I'm the least secretive person ever, and I don't think I can keep my mouth shut. I just, like, long. the only thing I could think is, like, if somebody was like, oh, well, we might change it, it's like, well, then just tell also, everyone you met the baby and you decided that wasn't it. I do think that there, like, I have heard, like, Paris Hilton was like, I'm not gonna tell anybody my baby name because I picked out the most original one and everyone's gonna take it. And it was Phoenix. She named her kid Phoenix. There's plenty of people named Phoenix. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, um, maybe people are worried that their friends mm -hmm. are gonna snatch their names. And I have heard be that. Drama. See, but yeah. I oddly felt comfortable being like, we that. said our names. It's That's like, if saying, anybody well, says it like, after yeah. that, I'm like, oh, well, they took my baby's name. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's almost like I'm already dibsing the name. Yeah. By yeah. saying that. And the also, name. but like, I, I know some people who have a baby that's born where I'm like, well, I still think I wanna name my kid that. Right. Even though. Yours is hideous and charmless. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Lizzie will baby shame like that. Like she texted me the other day and she goes, there was, she sent me like a hairline of a newborn baby. And she goes, it's a wild hairline. And she goes, what are you going to do if your babies come out with this sort of hairline? And am I allowed to say anything about it? I'm checking now. Cause I don't want to be insensitive in the moment. Oh, <laughs> which seems like a nice thing to do. Right? <laughs> this baby that. looks like Danny DeVito. No, this motherfucker has a that. ring of hair and none on the top. See, that's and it's how crazy. Austin was. Austin lost all his hair and he just had this ring here. This baby didn't and lose their hair. They old. came out with no really hair on top. Austin Bald as my it. father. Okay, I we've got some action. Sometimes people could wait and <laughs> let their baby, action. like, people post the raw baby, like, well, fresh out. Yeah. I think they could let it cook a little bit. Give them a minute, bro. <laughs> yeah. They just got here. Like, I don't think they want to be seen like that. Like, if I, if my mom had an Instagram when I was born and I saw me raw out the vag, I don't know if I'd like that. I want to cook. I want to yeah. defrost. Well, it's even I like you could just on. put the little wrap on and a little. Well, I have seen people on TikTok. They're like, my baby's got some whack ass hair. Let's shave it. And then they shave it. And what? honestly, if I was this baby really? with this weird fucking Danny DeVito hairline, well, I'd shave it. It's more like inside. Dr. Phil. I, do I don't know. It is. It's like, it just has like the so you 60 year old it. man. I noticed it, but it's yeah. not something I'm going to like call it's out to the mother. No, and I wouldn't either. Cause I'm not close enough with her. But if it's like a close friend, I'll be like, so we're going to talk about this. <laughs> well, no, you were like, can I offer to shave your baby's head? If this is what we're dealing with. I just want to know what kind of parent you are. In, like, Let's maybe hope, but that, it just seems to get longer oh, on the sides. Whoa, Look how yeah, beautiful this is. Where are we? Uh, good times. Could I just get exactly what the person in front of me got? You want a big daddy? Oh uh, yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> what ice cream I do you want? want? We want ice cream. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that we'll get that, and then can we? Uh, one second. What do you guys want? Should we get the cookies and scream cone? Oh. Oh yeah. Is it a cone or is? Oh. I don't know what it is. Cookies and scream. We all Could need we a cup, get though. four no. small cups of the cookies and scream? Four cups of cookies and cream. Yep. Double scoop or single scoop? Just single. All right. Total mm -hmm. 26, 41. Thank you. Okay, what were we saying? Oh, so why can't we just say our baby names? You can. Nobody's saying you can't. I feel Most like the, no, do. no. I feel like they. I don't know anybody else that has said their baby's name oh, like all of my friends facing. except for Katie said the baby's until, like, their baby shower is born. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, my friends all told us, and then one of them was like, "I'm not telling you until I send you a picture hello, of my baby." Hello. 
But she also vanishes when she gives birth. Like, well, the second she starts laboring, we don't hear from her, and then it's like, well, guess she's having a baby. <laughs> I don't know wow. how people keep it a secret. I feel like if I found out I was pregnant, I'd be at the grocery oh, store. Like, I guess what? I'm, I'm knocked the frick up. I'm not even pregnant, Thank and I'm texting you. people my baby names. This <laughs> you know, right? He's so nice. Thank you. But Here's the other reason to not tell people is that people can be nasty right. and mean Let's about see. it. And I think that Thank Thank you. You. Okay. to avoid the nasty meanness, because no matter what you're naming your baby, that you're naming them. But they're going to be mad or nasty about it, even it's at It's harder to be nasty if the baby's already already earth side. Oh, you think so? Oh yeah. Oh. Cuz I think like when it's just theoretical it's like, "Oh, don't fucking name your baby that." But when you're like, "This is my poo baby." And they're like, "You named it poo baby?" And you go, "Yeah." They go, "Oh." So they're I doing I keep it. getting every single day Instagram reels recommended to me of baby names for 2023. I sent that one to you last night and yeah. someone put on the first on the list, poo trendy baby? names of 2023 banjo. Fuck off. Also, you name, you name your, your kid, kid banjo? banjo. People are getting crazy out here. Like they want to be so original that it's like going too far. Yeah. Do you guys have good times in California? No, that's why I'm so confused. You just said it like it was a normal thing. Thank you. Make sure you get forks for everyone. It's a sandwich. I would like forks for all the sandwich. I guess I'll get a knife and cut it in fours. Yes. Okay. And we need, mm. oh, I guess he'll give us four spoons. For the big daddy. With our bendies. And he's so nice. He'll give you lots of napkins. Tell yeah. him, yeah. Tell him you're here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> He's so nice. You want the big daddy? The other and night, then he said, "That's exactly what I want." He said half the crew called out, did, called out sick, and we're just having to do this on our Thank own. Thank you. He was oh, so oh nice. My oh! oh my gosh! Wow. What? Do you Thank think it tastes you. like beets? Yeah, it's really giving, right? Yeah. It is. <laughs> My mom's raving about you back there, just so you know. Yeah, she that's says you. you're. That's you. That's you. I said you're really nice. Thanks. You always are nice. <laughs> Thank you. You Shut too. Up. Thank this you. is the what? most exciting <laughs> thing I've ever experienced. How did we? I didn't even know this was. Wow, a thing. and it's like purpley pink. It's wow. beautiful. The Cookies and scree. Are we all just gonna start yeah. with this? Oh, we didn't ask for a knife. Oh well, he's oh. so nice. We could probably go back. We could go back. He's so nice. Is there anyone behind us? Wow. So is this their custard or is it ice cream? I can never tell the difference, quite honestly. Oh my god, I woke up today ready to eat. I that think it said so hand good. spun ice cream, it said. Mm. Wow. Well, okay, no one's good. behind us and the lighting is good, so I was just gonna stay oh here for god. a second. I feel like once a week I wake up absolutely mm. ravenous and I got lucky that today is that day. I love that they have huge chunks of Oreo, that the Oreo's not blended. For some reason I'm a fan of that. This is like McFlurry but mm. better. Mm. Wow. Wow, so, it is really good. My favorite thing, though, that Grandma asked me a couple weeks ago is she said, so, are Ryan and Shane going to order, like, how because they post-made everything? They're like, is she can, she asked if you guys were going to essentially post-made all your food for your baby. <laughs> oh, I thought the same thing. Well, what are you talking about? For the first long time, they can only have the formula or breast milk. And then after mm -hmm. that, they're, like, foods that I'm going to simply make. Like, they're, like, simple like breakfast foods. Like eggs. Like eggs. Like, yeah. So and anything do, beyond eggs, because I would, like eggs and oatmeal. How do you get your Cyril Mama's milk <laughs> here? Silence. Well, that's an option. I guess she would freeze it, and then we would... I mean, it's an option. I don't... I think just do the formula. I don't know what we've completely decided yet, but... Mm. Mm. So I have mm. a french fry. Mm. Yeah, dip it. Here, we'll put them out right here for everyone. That's the only time I like fries, is if you can dip it in ice cream. And then... I have a quick question. What? <gasps> Since we're on the topic of names, what do you guys think about the names that Rylan and Shane have picked? <laughs> wow. I like them I because think they're, they're good. just short, sweet. Yeah, they're not too syllable. outlandish. I feel like every time I meet someone nowadays, they tell me something like banjo, and I'm like, you're not for real. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. But like, when I saw banjo as like one of the top yeah. names, I was like, there's just no way. I like that they're simple. Your teachers, because what I always think about in school is I was always secondhand embarrassed for the kids that the substitute teacher could never figure out what their names were. Oh, yeah. And I was like, your parents really made it hard for everyone involved, which then, maybe is unique, mm. but my other, I'm a simple gal that likes simple things. My other qualm, and it's not a qualm because I'm not a traditions person, and I'm not even going to have one, so I don't really care. What's but, a qualm? Like a problem. Yeah. Oh, well, um, is I've like, never... why are baby showers women only? Uh, no, my friend just had one that was co-ed. Yeah. Oh. All I think these... we're progressing. Yeah. Because, like, more people, more presents, right? For yeah. Sure. <laughs> I feel like, why was that traditionally a thing where you're like, husband, get out of here? Did you have a baby shower, Mom, for us? Oh. Oh, yeah. Were the men allowed? Um, there were, you know, the biggest showers were at my work, at the phone company for you and Austin. Or is it just something like, we're carrying these children, get out of here? Because I no, get that, we too. We had family showers where everyone came. 
Mm-hmm. I think that in general, men just aren't really interested in going to a baby shower. I'm not. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> like, it kind of feels like something that's traditionally for the girls. But mm-hmm. I think if you want to have everyone bring you a gift, then invite the boys too. Are you guys bummed out that Ryland's not having a baby shower? Yeah, kind of. Me too. You Super guys don't know that out. I'm not. Yeah, what makes you... keep saying that... Like, if you were that, having one, we would be throwing someone it. Someone asks him if he's having a baby shower, he has the most disgusted no, look I'm on not, his face. I'm not. But I was hoping the whole family would come for Thanksgiving and we could just have like a great time then. I want to do that. Well, I think people traditionally have them, so people can support and bring them gifts and I think that I would feel really guilty asking other people to give me yeah I think that you just bought everything you wanted see I understand that part of it but I also think that it's a moment to celebrate the pregnancy me too yeah Mm -hmm. but I'm not pregnant I know but this is like you are you're entering motherhood Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. I'm around you sometimes and I get a little bit like oh he's growing children (laughs) <laughs> They're inside of him right yeah, now. Like, it's yeah. like when you're with your friends that are pregnant, you're like, oh, there's something different about this bitch. It doesn't really <laughs> feel like a real thing. It kind of feels like a joke in our head. Just because you can't, like, see, like, you're not getting bigger every day. Yeah. He is fussier. Yeah, and I do and think... And he's eating like a pregnant woman. Uh, of course. <laughs> and I'm anxious, I would imagine, like a pregnant woman. Yeah, I'm craving pumpkin like a motherfucker. I'm always, yeah. Yeah, I think for the first time ever, I'm not an anxious person, but... And you nested? I'm trying, yeah. yeah. So what age I do you hit the think point he's where... And it's not even that close yet. I feel like there has to be a switch in your mind where you take a pregnancy test and it's not, oh shit, it's like, oh woohoo. Like, when does that happen? What age do you think is that? I don't think it's well, an age, I think it's a lifestyle. But wouldn't that be... Well, I guess it also depends on, like, where you're at in life, yeah. Because, like, are you in a relationship? Are you not in a relationship? Do you want to be a mom by yourself? Or do you want it? Like, I yeah. don't know. So it's a state of mind, not an age? Yeah. Because I think when I see now that people are pregnant, I'm still like, oh, shit. They're, oh, right. so then you're not ready. Because Lizzie did put down there, she was like, now that, like, well, I guess both your brothers are just a lot older than you, like, age-wise. So Lizzie was like, but now that, oh, my gosh. What's going on? Uh, Why'd the car flip around? I had it in drive, so I just put it in park, I oh. guess. Um, hmm. But she was like, do you feel pressure to, like, S- or move forward or, like, do, like, bigger life milestones? Or, like, more than that, it's, like, are people like, when are you going to sell down, Morgan? And is that enraging? <laughs> I do that, and I feel like it would be enraging. Oh, my God. I feel I, like, oh, I'm I, talking for her, I guess. I, funny. <laughs> I don't think I'm easily offended, really. It would drive like, me I don't fucking think it nuts. outrages me. I think people are just, like what's the tea you know? well because i think mm-hmm. a lot of people are like when are you get-? not to you specifically but i think like an enraging thing for a lot of people are other people being like when are you getting married when are you having kids they're yeah. like i don't know if i knew i'd be doing I, like I, i'd know yeah and mm-hmm. since you don't know maybe you're not invited <laughs> yeah <laughs> see the thing is i'm like why would we who cares if when all these people want you to get married you know wow she's so strong I know. <laughs> She's such a strong individual. I'm god's strongest soldier <laughs> do you want to get married <laughs> me yeah hell yeah all right. I love <laughs> And are you going to have a full house of kids? Or do you want? Oh, for sure. But what I've realized about having men work on my house all day is I love <laughs> when men are around because they'll think for you and I don't have to use my brain that much. And I love that. That's my favorite thing about men. I so, can't believe no. you just said that. <laughs> so dark. I'm not very happy you said that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, she's thinking in other ways. Like, she's still the boss what? of her own of no, her I'm own not destiny. saying that I'm like being like. It's like having a around. wardrobe of all one color. You just don't have to think about the color you're gonna wear. There that are spe- day. like specific things that She's like. She's yeah, her mind for boss. If Shane moves. didn't have his husband, like <laughs> certain things just would not get executed in the house yeah. would fall to the ground. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I know it's not the same thing, but it's like a similar thing. Like you have somebody that picks up where you do the, doing the things that you yeah. necessarily don't want to do. Yeah, that's. I guess the, all the feminists are gonna be outraged. I said that, but I think yeah. it's nice because I have no, to think about everything in too. my it's life. Not a gender thing. So when someone thinks a little for you and you can like just chill in your mind for a second because yeah. someone else is thinking for you, that's my favorite thing about men is that they'll sometimes just like make a decision for you. Mom and I are the two most indecisive people in the entire world. So yeah. when some dudes like, yeah, this is what you should do, I'm like, that perfect. Is true. Well, for me, I just want everything. So if I'm somewhere <laughs> with Joe, I don't have to worry about getting everything. I'll just be like, well, what do you want? We'll just get that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's like masculine and feminine energy. And I feel like I'm in my feminine energy when there's a man around making the tough decisions. Or like the easy decisions that we don't want to waste our time mm-hmm. thinking about. Exactly. I have, that's better, really I have what bigger it is. fish to fry. <laughs> You're making boss moves. Okay, that sounds better. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. Or maybe not. Maybe people are going to be like, damn, she's a brainless bimbo. <laughs> 
I, I mean, you're like doing just fine. Hey, I've gotten a lot of shit done on my own. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're yeah. doing just fine. So, like... So, sometimes I just want to think a little less. Yeah. What were that's why I want to get married. So, someone else can think about the things that I don't want to think about. And I'll do the things that they don't want to think about. <laughs> We have four, th- two minutes. Okay. Don't you worry. <laughs> we have two minutes? We have two minutes. Don't you worry. <laughs> you want me to ask another question with two minutes left? Okay. I'll break down and just start one more time. Rolling one, take three. This is so freaking good. Gosh, these are really mm. good. Um, both of these places we went were delicious. Yeah, we hit it on the head. When we went, remember Sonic? Yeah. We Us? I never have a great experience. Well, I oh, did like their nerd slushy. I fuck with Sonic, bro. That's because we don't, I mean, I don't have that ever. No, but when we came with your mom before I went to the airport, I was that living. That was bomb. I but forgot we, we had more we food. We didn't order what Oh, the, cut that up. Our big daddy. Of us. Cut that up, bro. Oh, no. fuck, bro. <gasps> Should I go through it? Oh, it is oozing oh, and oozing cheese. Oh, wow. wow. The bacon. Do you want me to ask them more questions while you break wow. that apart? It well, I don't like I don't want to touch it with man. my hands, quite honestly. Do you want me to go in there and get a knife and you guys can talk shit about me while I'm gone? Or should I just go through and get a knife even though there's a car now? now we would never talk car. shit about you. I really don't talk shit about you. <gasps> Can't Isn't <relate>. that crazy? <laughs> just and when I am mad at you, I confront you. That's fair. She seems healthy. It does seem healthy, doesn't it? Um, you know okay. what I read the other day? Huh? That the people that are the meanest to your face are usually the nicest behind your back. That's what I was going to say. I don't think I say anything behind your back that I don't say directly to your face. Yeah, it's like the people that are mean to you in real life are usually rooting for you. Wow. And the people oh, that are super nice to your face go to all their little bimbo friends when you're gone and they're like, she sucks so bad. <laughs> oh, I don't think I keep company with people that I have that thought about. Right. Because why would you do that? Why would you do that? I don't know. Like, make it make sense. Does anybody else feel like they're having a crazy sugar high? Like, that they can't control their eyes? I just feel like I'm ready to take the best nap of my yeah, life. Yeah, that's, that's when I want some of the best now. stuff happens, though. When I'm you literally and I are feeling like I can't my... look you in the eyes Okay, right can you tell me? What, what else did you write down? These were all your rapid fires. Are they worthy? I mean, I'm sure they're worthy. <laughs> do you... How do you guys think Ryland will be as a newborn dad? Oh, wow. You guys are getting... You're getting brutal here. I know. I don't think I want these opinions. <laughs> He's going to be incredible. Very chaotic. He's chaotic. Gonna, he wants to learn. I think high stress. He's very stress. interested. Oh. He's doing a lot of studying He's right done now. more research than and any baby mama that I've seen. Honestly. I'm like psychotic about it. And then when I hear other people, like anyone, I'm just like, well, don't you want to be prepared? Oh. Oh. I said Bruce. Oops. How do I reverse? <laughs> I said Bruce. Sorry. I was I just coming Bruce. through to get a knife again. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I just came through, but I'm just coming through again to get a knife. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Listen, I started my day in Burbank, and then I got an airplane to come here to ask you if I could borrow a knife, and I'll give it back when I'm done with it. <laughs> well, listen. I through and hand it back to you. I, I did feel a lot of shame about, like, I mean, I haven't even really said, but, like, we are going to get help. We're going to be so outnumbered. We have th- two dogs, two, or no, three, three dogs, dogs, two cats. We're going to have two kids. I, like... And I don't, I want to give the kids the best version of myself. Like, I don't want to be like miserable. So we are going to get help. And like, I watch so many people, even like a lot of new parents on YouTube, they'll be like, I just can't imagine it. Or I just feel like there's a lot of like, it's taboo to like say that you're going to get somebody to help you. No. Well, that's your circus, your monkey. So you can run your circus however the hell you want. Too. What did you just say? Your circus, your monkey? Yeah. If it's not your <laughs> Is circus. Is that a thing that people yeah, say? If it's not your circus, not that. your monkeys, mind your own business. <gasps> if it's your circus, you can, if your you're circus, circus, you're the ringleader. <laughs> your you're the ringleader of your own circus. Yeah. So you can run your monkeys you however the, the hell you want. You call the shots the way That's I look saying. at it is I'm not going to be around less. I'm just going to have somebody with me yeah. at certain times. A buddy. That like, a buddy system. Because like Shane and I can't always be awake 24 hours. So like the one of us that is awake ha- will have somebody else to help. And we won't have somebody <coughs> around the clock, but we'll have help. And I just like, for us, I think it's the best way. I don't think that there is shame in getting help when you need but help. I'm, I don't. I'm yeah, already, I already like feel shameful long. about so yeah. much. Like I feel shameful about where we're going to live. I feel shameful shameful that we're going to get help. But it's not your fault. That. It's my fault. It's mm-hmm. just so, it's such a hard decision. What were we talking about where I was like, when people ask me if I'm going to settle down and have kids, I don't feel shame in my answer because it's not their circus, not their monkeys. They can mind their own damn business. You shouldn't feel shame about how people feel about your circus because it's not their monkeys. Yeah. Buy, buy monkeys. tickets to another circus if you're not interested in someone else's circus. 
This Kim might Lister. be off the rails. What? <laughs> I'm so confused by all the different Me circuses and how many monkeys are at play at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't keep track. <laughs> okay, go to your next question, then. Okay. okay. What's your biggest piece of advice that you have for Ryland? Oh, like mom? Yeah. Morgan doesn't have kids yet. I mean, she can She's give advice. She's raised snails. That's my advice. If it's not your circus, not your monkeys, <laughs> then mind your own business. Bitch. And don't let people interrupt your circus if if it's not their monkeys. Yeah. Hello. Oh. I'm back. Can I just get a knife? And extra napkins. Oh, the one I Thank you. There. And can we get some extra napkins? Oh, can I also get some napkins? Yeah. He You're doesn't know how that. to ask. Oh, can I, do you guys have any tranquilizers in there? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you too. You too. Um, so... Yeah, with three of them yourself, Mom. Oh, is it annoying if I jump back to that last thing? What? I don't like that you're feeling shame about it because I I feel also... shame about everything. People are like... Jesus. Oh, <laughs> well, when it comes to about the... Not right, shame. I feel guilt right, but, but, is the right... But, but, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Because here's the deal. When you feel that guilt, you're taking up space from enjoying this beautiful moment, and it's your moment. Like, yeah. th like don't... Waste your time and energy. You, you look like you're on math right now. Cutting this <laughs> okay, Don't everyone, let take your other fourth. Circus clowns take your fourth, everyone. Oh, I think I'm full. I'm just gonna take a bite. Oh, my finger went through. Wow, this does look. Damn, delicious. you cut straight through to the Tesla. Okay, Morgan, you're really not gonna try it. Uh, I don't like I'm bacon. So you don't cool. have to. What if I take the bacon off? Look at those bikes on cops. Or. <laughs> <laughs> It's literally like the freaking Denver County Sheriff it's, on a mountain, like a Walmart so mountain bike. She said, feel good Look at the bikes on cops. <laughs> Imagine how humiliating they get pulled over on a bike. Can they pull you over? I guess. I know, do they have the right to do that? Maybe they're just getting their exercise. Wow, this Good Times burger is good. <laughs> there's it's two different. The big Daddy. There's two different cheeses, two different patties. Mmm. 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 <laughs> okay, mom. What's your mom advice? Make it good, Vicky. Of course, my mouth is full again. Perfect. Okay, let's go back to the circus. Uh oh. Which one? Mm -hmm. I'm sickly full. Yeah. I'm spitting. <laughs> my mom advice is send your kids to public school. Well, that's our plan. The circus thing. We're gonna revisit it. You're gonna be the ringleader, and choose to ring lead however you want. Lead your own. Your Fuck the haters. Own, yeah, you <laughs> lead your circus. <laughs> circus. And you know what because they say about what? the haters? They're still buying tickets to the circus. They still gonna watch. Straight up. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. I think just do your own thing. Oh, That's the most important thing. I'm <laughs> Me glad too. you're listening. I'm physically gonna I'm listening. vomit all over. Mm -hmm. He's listening. He just can't make eye contact right now. <laughs> Uh, I will say this though, wow. the best moms are ones they that are happy moms. Go so do what works helmets. for you. If it works for you, that's the best way to mom. It is. Or yeah. parent. I'm sorry right. for gendering it. <laughs> you really have to do it your way. And the thing is, I love how you're reading books. You're yeah. really trying to well, get prepared. Moms are like the most hated people online. It's so sad. Well, there's no the, right way yeah, to do it. So but that's sad. what I mean. I've already said this, but it's like I even just posted like some of my baby products and I've never gotten oh, more feedback in my entire life. And I'm like, just so fucking mind your own business. <laughs> Everyone thinks that the way that they're raising their kids is the best way. So if you do something different, they're going to get mad at you. And that's why I say mind your own. And my whole thing is like... It's sad. All these mom shamers are out here. They're always mean to all these fresh moms that are doing their best. I just want the most information possible and then I'll take and leave what I want when it's happening in real time. Yeah. But I want to be... Saying. Do it your way. Like best equipped to like with information, you know? Yeah. See, I think people could... When people I are giving these... This, sorry. Oh, sorry. Like all these mom bloggers get all this criticism and I'm like, you, there's a way to leave people criticism in a nice way. Like, oh, helpful hip. This is helpful tip. This is what <laughs> helped me. Hip. Well, and that's what, like... No, people are just hateful and mean and scary and you're stupid, you're an idiot. And I'm like, maybe they'd take your comment if you were like, oh, this is what I did and it worked for me. Well, and that's what, like, people reply responding about the baby products, it was, like, so aggressive. It wasn't just like, hey, this is what worked for me. It's, like, matter of fact, like, this is horrible. And it's like, girl, for it's real? so crazy. take how, a deep breath. It's so crazy how a baby comes into the equation and all of a sudden everyone feels, like, vindicated and saying the whatever they wow. want. I bought my laptop while I had my goddaughter with me, and the woman was like, are you sure you should be buying a laptop? You have a baby. I was like, what, bitch? First of all, she's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, execution oh, is everything, and these people that? really have to go about it in a weird, yeah, that's rude. weird. Every mom wants to be, like, condescending mm. to other moms. Wow. 
Maybe not everyone. Strange. The internet warrior moms. And then she judged me on how I had the baby in the holder that I was wearing, but to be honest, I couldn't figure out the baby holder <laughs> I was wearing and Lily's neck did look pretty broken. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for coming on the show. Do you have anything you want to say or any last words? Anything you want to talk about? Um, to the girls at home, run your own circus and don't let all these monkeys in the <laughs> equation. Mom? That's, I feel the same. Run your own circus, Ryan. You all and right. Shane both, but, and live wherever you want to live. I was just, I had two margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, I have everyone's links in the description section below. Make sure you check out Morgan's vlogs, Lizzie's vlogs, my mom's Amazon page. It's all there. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our podcast. We'll see you next Wednesday. We love you very much. Goodbye. And, and that's, that's the sip. Do it I think I took a bite of someone mouth. else's bacon that had already been bitten. Wait, I'm feeling like that how do you really? Yeah. Did someone put their food back scene. in here after they Ryan bit did. it? Ryan did. <laughs> you <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Wait, there, why didn't you take the full piece? There was a oh, full. Because I wasn't looking. We were talking. Oh. I wish I would have taken the bacon off. The bacon's really gross. I didn't I have like any work. I thought I'm not even a bacon eater, and I thought the bacon. Oh, I didn't like it. Oh, bacon gives me the same feeling as earwax. Yeah, I'm just trying not to think about it because it's so yucky. Yikes. Huh. The ice cream was good. And the ice cream was excellent. All right, two dolls. I have honey hair in my nose. <laughs>